It's the Orwell Society's annual general meeting today. Let's see what that's all about. Ah, so this is what George Orwell fandom looks like. It's quite a new organisation, actually, founded in 2011, and it's just been granted charity status in the UK. Orwell's son, Richard Blair, is its patron. This year has been, in many ways, Orwell's year, hasn't it? In that the Edward Snowden revelations were linked to Orwell's 1984 novel and his disturbing <coughs> sort of vision. And this has drawn enormous attention to Orwell in the media. I believe, Richard, that the sales of 1984, how, how much did they rock it? 6,000%. <laughs> <laughs> It has a website and newsletter, and it turns out a social side. Its members recently went up to Jura, for instance. That's the, the Scottish island where Orwell rented a cottage in the 40s and wrote 1984. The Fletcher family, who Orwell rented the, the farm from, uh, received us at the house, uh, some 24 of us, and, and uh, Richard said, are you going to conduct the tour to, to the family and they said no on the contrary would you conduct the tour uh, and, and while Richard's seen the house many times from the sea and walking past on land it was the first time he'd been in the home since it was his home. At the AGM Mr Blair presented a bust of his father to the winner of a dystopian short story competition launched by the Society and open to university students. There were talks as well. One was about Gerda Taro, a female German photojournalist in the Spanish Civil War, and the other concerned Orwell's arrest, which he described in his 1932 essay, Clink. I discovered, year before last now, in the London Metropolitan Archives, the court record of Old Street Magistrates Court for December 1931. What's being handed out to you is first piece of documentary evidence ever discovered that demonstrates that any of Orwell's down-out experience is true. I also met some interesting Orwell fans, like this retired London police officer. The, uh, uh, the only person who could describe him like that would have to be somebody who'd been there. Yeah. Describing what it was like in the uh, prison van, what happened at court, absolutely spot on. And this Russian lady. Uh, it's amazing how subtly he understood the nature of the regime, of the Soviet regime. The Society's website is at allwellsociety.com and there's talk of it launching a Facebook page for members. Here are some other videos I made on the day. For more of this stuff, please subscribe.